up kingdom kids it's your girl yada and i'm here with the word for the month of june yes your father has blessed us with the word for the month y'all y'all know how we do family when god gives us the word for the month what do we do we say thank you lord come on now join in your father has set the tone for the month of june come on now say thank you lord one more time we gonna do it as a family right listen if we gonna do it like a family okay come on one more time somebody say thank you lord Lord, we thank you for blessing us with a word for the month of June, setting our tone, okay, giving us something to look forward to in Jesus' name. Listen, if you're not part of the family, you're new here, we welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button, that way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit leads you to, don't leave without commenting or sharing the video, all right? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach amen all right now family listen before we get into the word we're gonna go ahead and pray in the holy spirit because y'all know we won't do nothing here without god right all right pray with me family oh, father god we come before you today lord jesus as humble as possible father just thanking you for who you are and god we thank you for keeping us yet another day father god we thank you for loving us we thank you for keeping us and never leaving us, Father God. Thank you for never leaving nor forsaking us, God. Thank you for being by our side when we didn't know you were there, when we didn't want you there, Father God. Thank you for always being by our side, Father God. We thank you for never leaving us today, God. God, I thank you for your sons and daughters that has been led to this video, Father God. I pray they would have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Lord, let it be your voice that is heard, Father. Speak through me. I pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to fill me up and this flesh will step aside, God. Speak to your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. All right now, family, listen, I don't know who needs this word, but I do believe it's going to bless the kingdom because it's the word for the month, right? So I believe the kingdom will be able to benefit from this word. So whoever this is for, I pray that it reaches you and I pray that it blesses you because baby, when he gave it to me, it blessed me, all right? And God gave me this word so deep, y'all. So whoever this is for, this is definitely going to bless you, all right? Still get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit, okay? But guys, God is saying right now for the month of June, he said receiving season. Yes, listen to me. Your father says this is your receiving season, baby. Listen, God gave me this thing so deep, y'all. He spoke through two people as well. He gave me two scriptures, y'all. So listen, I'm about to give y'all this thing how y'all father gave it to me. And I pray it is a blessing to you, okay? Listen, receive this thing by faith, family. Listen, your father told me on May the 29th. On May the 29th, God told me harvest time. And I was like, harvest time, Lord, harvest season ain't for three, four more months. Like, <laughs> it's in the fall. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, it's not harvest season. And this is how God gave it to me. He said, Yada, I said harvest time. This is going to be an unusual time. And come on now, this is not going to be the seed you have sown. It's not the fruits are going to come. It's going to start spouting up in an unusual time. God say, I say it's harvest time, not harvest season, okay? So, yo, 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 fruits are ripe before timing. I don't know who this is for, but God said, baby, I'm not waiting for the next harvest season to do this thing for you, baby. This is your reaping season right now. Come on now. He said, this is your harvest time. This is your receiving season. Listen to me. And when he told this to me, the very day he told this thing to me, y'all, like uh, one of my cousins, uh, she commented on my YouTube video, one of my videos that I had posted. She said, uh, because you are a giver, right? This is on the 29th, right? Y'all stay with me. And then yesterday, my brother, my brother in Christ, uh, my brother Charles, he sent me a prayer. He sent me a prayer every day. God, thank God. Thank you, God, for your servant, okay? He sent me a prayer every day covering me, my children. You know, he covering us, okay? So he sent me the prayer, and in his prayer yesterday, I can hear the Holy Spirit interrupt him. Now, y'all, he pray for me every day, so some stuff he say over and over, but it's sometimes I hit a low 
Lord creep in, right? You got, I'm telling you, you got another voice of God. So this time, yesterday, he said, it's your receiving season. Because you have given, because you gave, because you gave. He kept saying, because you gave, doing this, you did that, you gave people this, you know. There's some people that know me, know me. They know I started my ministry not on a camera uh, giving this way. I started feeding the homeless. So I was feeding the homeless while I was homeless. So y'all, it just blessed me, right? So when he gave it to me, he said, this is your receiving season. I knew it was the Lord speaking. And after he finished speaking with the Lord, he started, <clears throat> oh, he went, uh, uh. So I knew it was, then it was him again. And he started saying the things he usually say, right? So I knew it was the Lord had, you know, came in and spoke that through him. So I'm saying, God told me it, this is not just for me. Whoever this is for, God said, receive this thing by faith, family. This is your receiving season, okay? You are going to reap what you have sown. God said, baby, you will not have to wait to see the fruits of your labor. I don't know who you are, God said, but the seeds you planted. He said, you didn't even know you were putting miracle growth on that thing. Listen to me. God said you will put miracle growth on that thing, baby. He said your faith was miracle growth. Do you hear me? God said your faith was miracle growth, child. He said because you believe, you're about to get what you believe for. I don't know what you've been waiting for. I don't know what you believe for, but God said you're about to get what you believe for. Listen to me. God say y'all to tell him it's because you believe he would, so he will. Come on now. He said it's because you believed I would, I will. Because you believe I can, I am. Listen, I don't know who this for. God bless me when he told it to me. He said y'all because you believe I can, I am. Okay, I'm telling you, I don't know who you are, but receive this thing by faith. God said your faith was miracle grow, baby. And if you know about miracle grow, baby, miracle grow through wonders to a seed, okay? To a plant. Come on now. It also makes your plant stronger. In Jesus' name, God said your faith produced the fruit. Your faith produced this blessing. Whoever this is for, God say, baby, you are not going to have to wait for it. This is your receiving season. Receive that thing by faith, family. I don't know who this is for, baby, but if you feel it in the spirit, somebody take that word, come on, and say, this is my receiving season. Come on now, speak that over yourself. Say, this is my receiving season. Come on now, it ain't just for y'all, baby. I snatched that thing in the spirit, come on. Even if it wasn't your word, snatch that thing out the spirit. Snatch it by faith, come on. Say, this is my receiving season. Type that thing out, somebody. Type that thing out. Say, this is my receiving season. In Jesus' name, let me tell you what this God said. He said, because you did not give up because you were faithful come on now not that you were perfect come on now god say you were not perfect come on now I'm, i don't know who this is for god say no you weren't perfect but you were faithful you didn't give up. You didn't give up. When life threw you lemons, when life threw lemons at you, baby, you didn't throw them back. Come on, back in the day, they would have caught you back. You threw them back at it. <laughs> you threw them back at it with, with a couple of tomatoes and a couple of other things, potatoes too. Come on now. God said, but you did not throw them back. You made lemonade and you didn't just keep the lemonade for yourself, baby. You gave it to the thirsty. Listen to me. God said, this is your reaping season. Y'all, he even blessed us with a song, y'all. Go listen to, to William Murray. I'm sorry, William Murphy. William Murphy, it's working. God say, baby, this is your season for grace, for favor. Okay, God say, this is your season to reap what you have sown in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, your father said you are about to get what you believed for. Let me give y'all this scripture, then I'm going to let y'all go, okay? Because God gave us two scriptures. Y'all, God gave us John 4, John 4, 35. This is when he really wowed me, y'all. It said, don't you have a saying? It is four months until harvest. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. I'm telling you right now, God say, let those who have eyes see, baby. I don't know about you, but God say, open your eyes, baby. When you open your eyes, before you know it, you're going to open your eyes, you're going to blink and baby, the harvest is there. God say, this is your reaping season, baby. It's going to be in a blink of an eye. Okay, a blank of an eye, baby. This is when God put that super on your natural. Amen. Listen, he also gave us Galatians 6, verses 7 through 9. Galatians 6, verses 7 through 9. It said, let us not get weary 
and doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. I don't know who you are. God say, but baby, this is your proper time. And come on now, baby, this thing about to happen in proper time because you did not give up. Come on now. God say, you, you listen, remember he told you, you push through. Come on now. God say, you push through, baby. You did not give up. You could have gave up, but you didn't. Come on now. You did not give up. And because you did not give up, this is your reaping season. This is your receiving season. This is your proper timing. God say, this is a time for you to reap your harvest. Amen. You will reap the harvest. In Jesus' name, I don't know who this is for, but God say, baby, your seed had you you put miracle grow on that seed, baby. I don't know who you are, baby. That faith, baby, that faith, your faith ain't nothing to play with. Do you hear me? Your faith ain't nothing to play with. In Jesus' name, listen, I love y'all so much. I love y'all with the love of God. Whoever this word is for, I pray that it reaches you. I pray that it blesses you. I pray that it blesses the family because this is a prophetic word for the month. So listen, in the month of June, God, he he's gonna do some stuff for his children. Y'all better be ready. Y'all better be ready to reap the harvest. Come on. Oh, Lord Jesus. Listen, y'all better get y'all baskets. Y'all better get y'all baskets ready to pick. Ready to pick, baby, because God said he ain't waiting for fall. He ain't waiting for harvest season. Your harvest time is now. Okay? Receive this thing by faith, family. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for the love, the comments, the shares, the support. Thank you for the encouraging emails. Listen, guys, if you sent the prayer request, I have received your email. Okay, I do pray over your emails. I thank you, thank you, thank you for you guys showing up for God. Okay, all praise and honor goes to Him. All right, guys, thank you so much for the seeds, the donations. Okay, the gifts, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving to the mission, to the ministry, for what God is going to do through this family. I thank you, and I pray that He will open a storehouse and give you a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive in Jesus' name. All right, y'all, listen, go out and live a blessed life. You know the blessed life comes from first, being a blessing.